Oliver's World Adventures Once upon a time, in a vibrant town named Wonderhaven, lived an imaginative little boy called Oliver. He had a heart brimming with curiosity and an adventurous spirit that longed to explore the world. No tall mountain, deep sea, or dense jungle could intimidate this young explorer. On a bright sunny morning, as Oliver was playing in his backyard, something unusual caught his eye. Under a pile of autumn leaves, a corner of an old parchment was sticking out. Oliver's heart raced with anticipation and excitement as he carefully pulled the piece of paper out. It was a map. This wasn't just any old map. It was a map of the world, filled with mysterious symbols and dotted lines that meandered from one corner to the next. The possibility of an adventure was irresistible. He packed his trusty backpack with a water bottle, his favorite snacks, and the mysterious map. With a spring in his step and his backpack over his shoulder, Oliver was ready to embark on his big adventure. The map guided him from one amazing place to another, opening his eyes to the various cultures and bountiful wonders each place had to offer. His first stop was the vast and wild continent of Africa. The map led him on a safari through the heart of the savannah where he saw majestic elephants, graceful giraffes, and speedy cheetahs. He was in awe of the natural world and its amazing creatures. That night, under the starlit African sky, Oliver sat around a fire, listening to the rhythmic beat of drums and enchanting stories of the elders. Their tales, passed down through generations, filled his heart with joy and his mind with wonder. He felt a kinship with the land and its people. Next, his map guided him to Asia, a continent of ancient traditions and modern marvels. There, he scaled the Great Wall of China, feeling its centuries-old stones underneath his small hands. The sight of the winding wall disappearing into the horizon left him awestruck. Oliver then ventured to India, a country humming with energy, colors, and delicious smells. He tasted spicy curries, sweet lassies, and fragrant biryanis. He tried his hand at flying kites, and danced to the energetic beats of Bollywood music. The lively spirit of the place filled his heart with delight. The next bend in his journey took him to the mysterious and endless landscapes of Antarctica. Wrapped in layers of clothing, he watched the penguins slide down icy glaciers and was mesmerized by the aurora australis that painted the sky in brilliant hues of green and purple. The map then guided Oliver to the sun-soaked shores of Australia. He learned to surf on sparkling waves and got acquainted with adorable kangaroos and cuddly koalas. His heart brimmed with joy as he uncovered new experiences. His journey then took him to Europe, a continent full of history and art. He saw the Grand Eiffel Tower in Paris, visited the ancient Colosseum in Rome, and marveled at the beautiful canals in Venice. Oliver felt like he had stepped into a storybook as he wandered the cobblestone streets. Next up was the vibrant land of South America. He trekked through the dense Amazon rainforest, listening to the cacophony of exotic birds. He danced to the lively samba rhythms in Brazil and tasted the world's best chocolate in Ecuador. Every new experience was a delightful surprise. Finally, the map led him home to the colorful town of Wonderhaven. Wonderhaven. As he closed his front door behind him, his heart was filled with gratitude for the incredible journey he had taken. Through his adventures, Oliver had come to understand that the real treasures in life are the experiences we gather, and the memories we create. As he went to sleep that night, the magical map under his pillow, a content smile spread across his face. While his physical journey had ended, 
He knew his explorations would continue in his dreams. He closed his eyes, knowing that the world was full of wonderful surprises, and he couldn't wait to discover them. And so, even though Oliver was back in Wonder Haven, his spirit of adventure and curiosity remained unquelled. He understood that every day brought with it a chance for a new discovery, a new experience, a new story. And with his trusty map by his side, Oliver felt ready for whatever adventure the next day would bring. The Enchanted Forest The Enchanted Forest and Max exchanged a look of excitement and decided to follow the pixie dust trail. With their hearts filled with anticipation, they walked deeper into the magical forest. As the twins followed the glittering trail, they started to hear a melodious humming sound. Drawn by the beautiful sound, they followed it and stumbled upon a lively meadow filled with singing flowers. Their little faces lit up with amazement. Amid the chorus of singing flowers, they spotted a tiny, shimmering figure flitting from flower to flower. It took a moment for them to realize that it was a real-life pixie humming along with the flowers. Mia and Max were filled with awe as they watched the delicate pixie fluttering her wings, her every movement radiating a warm, magical glow. The twins approached her carefully, not wanting to scare her away. The pixie noticed them and, with a soft giggle, flew over to meet them. Introducing herself as Faye, she explained that the magical forest was home to pixies like her and other magical beings. Upon learning about the twins' curiosity and love for adventure, Faye invited them to explore the magical forest under her guidance. Mia and Max were more than eager to embark on this new adventure. Faye led them to a towering tree that was home to the forest's wise old owl. The twins were introduced to the old owl who shared stories of the forest's history and the creatures that called it home. Mia and Max were entranced by the old owl's tales, and their excitement seemed to grow with each story. The owl's wisdom weaved a magical tapestry of legends, painting vibrant pictures in their young minds. Next, they took them to a sparkling stream that was home to the playful water sprites. The twins watched, fascinated, as the sprites danced on the rippling water, their laughter echoing across the forest. They also introduced them to the forest's mischievous gnomes, hard-working bees, and many other magical beings. Every corner of the forest held a new surprise and story for Mia and Max. The day flew by for the twins, filled with laughter, discovery, and countless new experiences. As the sun began to set, the forest was painted with a beautiful blend of gold and pink hues. A grand feast was arranged by the forest inhabitants to celebrate their newfound friends. As the moon peeped out from behind the trees, the magic of the forest seemed to sing its own lullaby. Ended, they guided Mia and Max back to the edge of the forest. They looked back at the magical forest, their hearts filled with the warmth of the day's experiences. They whispered a pixie promise in their ears, assuring them that they'd always be welcome in the magical forest. With a flutter of her wings, she sprinkled them with pixie dust, a token of friendship. Riding back to Harmonyville, Mia and Max looked at the stars, their hearts beating in sync, their joy lighting up their faces. It was a day they would never forget, a day when they discovered a world beyond their wildest imaginations. From that day forward, the twins often visited the magical forest. They continued their adventures with Faye and her friends, learning about the forest's mysteries and creating memories to last a lifetime. Along the way, they also learned valuable lessons about friendship, kindness, respect for nature, and the magic that lives within us all. The forest became a part of them, 
their secret haven of magic and wonder. Mia and Max shared their stories with their friends in Harmonyville, who, at first, laughed it off as just another fanciful tale. However, the twinkle in the twins' eyes made them realize that it was indeed a real magical adventure. This magical journey added a whole new dimension to Mia and Max's lives. Their hearts were filled with magic and a deep connectedness to nature they had never felt before. They grew up cherishing the memories they made in the magical forest, carrying the essence of their experiences into their lives. The forest was their little secret, a cherished memory, and a story they would pass down to generations to come. In the cozy town of Harmonyville, Mia and Max's adventures became legendary tales. They served as inspiring stories for all the children in town, filling their young hearts and minds with magic, wonder, and a thirst for adventure. And thus, in a town filled with everyday magic, within the hearts of a pair of adventurous twins, lived a magical forest, a real-life pixie, and a plethora of unforgettable memories. The magic in Harmonyville was never the same again. The Lost Palace Once upon a time, in a land far away, there was a small village nestled at the foot of a mighty mountain. This idyllic hamlet was ruled by a wise and popular king named Alexander. He was beloved by all his inhabitants, especially the children. They held him in high regard for his courage and generosity. One sunny morning, as the children frolicked in the village square, they noticed a flock of birds soaring above in an unusual formation. It appeared as if the birds were guiding them. Intrigued, the children decided to follow the feathery spectacle. They set out on a short journey through the Emerald Forest, following the trail set by the avian guides. After a while, they reached a secluded clearing that left them wide-eyed and astounded. Right in front of them stood a spectacular mansion that was taller than the tallest trees around and grander than anything they had ever seen. They realized that they had discovered the legendary Empire Palace, a place lost and forgotten, a world for centuries. The palace stood tall and commanding, with towering spires and gleaming, golden gates. It was as if the palace was inviting the children inside, promising a world of wonder and excitement. With cautious excitement and a thirst for adventure, the children slowly stepped into the magnificent palace. As their little feet touched the marble floor, a sense of awe enveloped them. The walls of the palace were adorned with precious jewels and each corner held a different artifact from times long gone. The grandeur of the palace was overwhelming. The children scattered and began exploring the multitude of rooms. They discovered a vast library filled with ancient books, a beautiful garden blooming with vibrant flowers, and a grand throne room adorned with gold and precious stones. The children couldn't believe their eyes. They had only heard tales of such grandeur in their bedtime stories from wise old Granny Martha. The palace felt enchanted, like something straight out of a fairy tale. As the day progressed, the children continued their exploration. The palace held an air of mystery, as if every nook and corner held secrets waiting to be unraveled. The more they explored, the more intrigued they became. In one of the rooms, they found an old rusty key. The children collectively decided that they must find the door that the key belonged to. This set them on a new quest within the palace. They began their search with renewed energy, examining every door they came across. Yet, Every door they tried was already unlocked or did not match the key. Despite the obstacles, the children did not lose hope. Their determination finally paid off when they stumbled upon a hidden door behind a grand tapestry. The key fit perfectly and as the children turned it, 
the door creaked open, revealing a secret room filled with ancient treasures. Their eyes widened with disbelief as they took in the sight of mounds of gold, precious gems, and forgotten artifacts. In the middle of the room sat a majestic golden throne. From its appearance, they guessed that it was meant for the ruler of Empire Palace. Feeling a deep sense of reverence, they approached the throne. As a jest, the eldest amongst them, a boy named Peter, decided to sit on it. As soon as he took the throne, a strange aura enveloped him. Unbeknownst to the children, the throne was enchanted. Peter felt a sudden surge of wisdom and strength flow through him. The throne had chosen him as the new ruler and gifted him its ancient powers. With this newfound power and wisdom, Peter guided the children back to their village. They were hailed as heroes, and the news of the rediscovery of the Empire Palace spread like wildfire. King Alexander was overjoyed at the discovery. He was proud of the children for their bravery and wisdom. When he learned of Peter's newfound powers, he was surprised but happy. He saw potential in the young lad and took him under his wing for guidance. Under King Alexander's mentorship, Peter grew to be a wise and just ruler. He used his powers for the welfare of his people and brought prosperity to the village. The Empire Palace once again became the heart of the kingdom, brimming with life and laughter. The children's adventure had changed their lives forever. It had brought them fame and respect, but most importantly, it taught them the value of bravery, curiosity, and wisdom. Their tale of discovery and adventure became a bedtime story for generations to come. A tale of a simple village, a wise king, brave children, and an ancient palace. A tale that taught every listener that sometimes, all you need is a little courage and curiosity to lead you towards wonderful adventures. The village thrived under the reign of Peter, with King Alexander by his side, guiding him. The Empire Palace stood tall and majestic, a symbol of the village's rich history and bright future. The children who had once discovered it, now stood as the torchbearers of its legacy. Life in the village carried on. The children grew up, and so did their tales. However, the adventure at the Empire Palace remained the most cherished memory of their childhood. It became a tale of adventure, courage, and discovery for every new generation. Thus, the tale of this small village, its brave children, and the legendary Empire Palace was etched into the annals of time. It was a testament to the fact that even the smallest of beings can achieve the grandest of things. The children would often gather at the palace, reminiscing about that fateful day. They would smile at the memory, filled with a sense of accomplishment and pride. The palace was a symbol of their bravery, their wisdom, and their unforgettable adventure. And so, the tale of King Alexander, Peter, and the children lived on. The Empire Palace, once lost and forgotten, now stood tall and glorious, mirroring the village's prosperity. The one small village at the foot of the mountain was now a thriving kingdom, and it all started with a flock of birds and a group of brave children. The Quest for the Lost Key Welcome, Brave Adventurers, to a magical kingdom hidden within the pages of a book. This place is full of fascinating characters, enchanting landscapes, and thrilling quests. Our tale begins in Storyland for Kids, where all stories come to life. It is a place of magic, filled with all your favorite characters and creatures. In this kingdom, we meet our hero, a young knight named Alex. Though he was young, Alex was brave and kind. He had a heart full of courage and a head filled with dreams. Alex lived in a tiny village tucked at the edge of the kingdom. 
Despite its quiet charm, Alex yearned for adventure. He believed he was destined for great things. One day, a strange, old wanderer came to the village. He spoke in earnest about an ancient treasure hidden in the heart of the enchanted forest. This treasure was said to contain unimaginable power, capable of granting any wish to the one who possesses it. The villagers' eyes sparkled with excitement. Alex knew that this was his chance. He would embark on a quest to find this treasure, to prove to all that he was a true knight. With his armor, a trusty sword, and a heart full of determination, he set off towards the enchanted forest. The villagers cheered him on, waving goodbye. Alex's journey was full of challenges, but he was not deterred. He fought off mischievous goblins, outwitted cunning elves, and even chatted with wise old trees. After days of travel, he finally arrived at the heart of the enchanted forest, the supposed location of the treasure. But it was guarded by a fearsome dragon. The dragon huffed and puffed, flames danced in his eyes. With a mighty roar, he challenged Alex to a duel. Alex's heart pounded, but he wielded his sword. The fight was tough, the dragon was strong. But Alex was quicker, and with a well-placed strike, he disarmed the dragon. The dragon admitted defeat. With the dragon defeated, Alex approached the treasure. It was a small, golden box, gleaming amidst the trees. He held his breath and opened it. Inside, there was a golden feather. Alex was confused. Where was the power? Where was the magic? He had expected so much more. Suddenly, the feather began to glow. A voice echoed around him, Your wish, Alex, has been granted. You proved your courage and worthiness. Alex was surprised. He hadn't made a wish. Then, he remembered his dream. To be recognized as a brave knight. That was his wish. He returned to the village a hero. With stories of his quest, of the treasure, and of his fight with the dragon. The villagers hailed him as their knight. Alex learned that becoming a true knight wasn't about finding treasures or defeating dragons. It was about courage, kindness, and fulfilling his dreams. From then on, Alex continued to protect his village and went on many more adventures throughout the kingdom of Storyland for kids. Thus, the tale of Alex, the brave knight, became a legend in Storyland for kids. A tale of courage and dreams, it continues to inspire young adventurers. And so, dear friends, we leave Alex, our hero, in his magical kingdom where every day is a new adventure, every moment is a new tale. Who knows what fantastic journeys await Alex and his friends next. Only time will tell. But whatever comes, they will face it together, for they are the heroes of Storyland for kids. And remember, every story is a door, a magic door that leads into the imagination. Who knows where your next story will take you? So, until next time, keep dreaming, keep believing, and keep exploring the infinite wonders of Storyland for kids. Farewell, young adventurers. And yet, the story never truly ends, for it lives within each one of us, waiting for the right moment to inspire, to enchant, to bring out the heroes in all of us. We appreciate your decision to engage with Storyland for Kids. We trust that today's experience was enjoyable for you. Your feedback holds great value to us as it guides us towards refining our content. Anticipating the opportunity to introduce exciting adventures to your children, we're committed to bringing adventurous stories with extra charm each night. 
Please join us in our journey by subscribing to our channel and contributing to our growth. Thank you for being a part of this enriching storytelling venture.